Girl's heart is in her stomach. Born with ectopia cordis, even the slightest bump could cause it to stop beating. Poor girl has to avoid crowds and even can't hug others. Now she's 14. Her stomach has finally expanded enough to accommodate her heart. She's ready to hit the town and enjoy life. The first thing I'm going to do when I get out of here is take all my friends to a concert. But there's a catch. Her heart has grown even larger. And it's too big. Her heart's enlarged 53% since her last exam. Due to hormonal changes during her period, according to the check, she is still not suitable for surgery. I'm sick of being stuck inside all the time. I'm sick of this! The doctor suggests using an resorbable material to expand her rib cage, but even genius doctor is hesitant this time. Surgery isn't reversible. If it doesn't work, we can't just move her heart back to where it was. If the surgery fails, she could literally be heartbroken, but she's determined to go under the knife. Please. Another girl came into the hospital for a checkup. As the doctor lifted the covers, everyone was stunned. That's a penis. She's not a girl, he's a boy. Man has a tumor that weighs over 300 pounds. He wishes to find Sean and has this giant lump removed. But the new director dislikes Sean's autism and transfers him to the lab. Because of this rare opportunity, doctor want to treat man for free. But in exchange, they'll broadcast the entire treatment process live. During the preoperative examination, they found that the tumor was growing so fast that it gained more than 10 pounds in just one week. The blood vessels inside it are thicker than a thumb. If they tried to remove the tumor, the guy might lead to death. It's impossible to remove a tumor without causing you to bleed to death. But he's determined to have the surgery because he wants to live a normal life. No, I don't care how risky it is. I'd rather die in surgery than continue to live with this huge damn tick sucking the life out of me. Thankfully, Brown came up with a genius idea to tie off the larger blood vessels in the tumor. It's like putting a tourniquet on a giant sausage. Can they pull it off without Sean? Molly's face is disfigured. Doctor is going to cut off Karen's facial skin and put it on Molly. Karen's mom is with her as they head to the operating room. When they step out of the elevator, there are doctors lined up on both sides of the corridor waiting for them. We call it the walk of honor to thank your daughter for her sacrifice. At the operating room entrance, Karen's mom holds her daughter's hand and gives her a final kiss on the cheek. The doctors then get to work on both girls, drawing surgical lines on their faces, making incisions. And finally, they get to the most crucial part, which is to remove the skin. If they're not careful, they could ruin it. Once they've successfully peeled off Karen's skin, the doctor switches off her life support machine and she passes away. All the doctors pay their respects to her. Then, they focus on the task at hand, which is to sew Karen's skin onto Molly's face. The surgery lasts for two whole days and nights. In the end, it's a resounding success. Molly's face looks as good as new. Karen's mom comes out. I'd like to say goodbye. This drama is adapted from a Korean TV series of the same name. It tells the story of a young surgical resident, Sean, who has savant syndrome an exceptional ability in a particular area, often in arts or academia. That exceeds what is considered normal. Approximately 10% of people with autism have this syndrome. Joining a prestigious hospital, San Jose Estate, Bonaventure. This raises the question for everyone. Can a doctor who cannot establish relationships with ordinary people really treat patients? In each episode, Sean has new questions about being human. Why do people feel sadness? Why do they want to love and be loved? And why do they have these interactions and rules? through his questioning perspective. In this complex human world of the hospital, we also follow him to re-examine our own paths of life.